rest it in place, push it down, that's now on. To take it off, you just put it at the back here, put it off, lift, sorted. Don't just sort of, don't just put it straight up, you obviously have to release the, um, the clamp. So really easy, put it on, push it down, clips in, sorted. Sit in the C5, or you can do it while she's sat in the C5, and then once you power on, the lights come on. So this one here shows your battery level here. So at the moment we're, we're um, fully green effectively, so it's showing it's basically fully charged. And this one here shows you how much power you're putting through the motor. So all you do, and this is a very important bit, unless you're literally a child and you weigh you know, nothing, you did sit and it pedal up to walking speed. Then you press the throttle here, which is underneath the square cover. It's a little micro switch there, a little red dot, just there. So all you do is you pedal up to walking speed, and sort of two, two, two pushes, then throttle, throttle, and obviously brake. So really easy, so you literally just pedal, you do look like you know once or twice, just up to walking speed, that's all you need to do, then you can throttle. Obviously the, the pedal's there, so if you were to go up a hill, you would assist the motor by pedaling up the hill, of course, or if you want to pull away quickly from a corner, you know, from a road junction, you would pedal as well as throttling, of course, so you can get get away from the corner quickly. So yeah, let's just flip this round. There. Cool. So just to demonstrate, you know, you can sit in the C5, so you can push it on, push the connector on, power comes on, sit in the C5, make sure the handbrake's off, you've got a handbrake here, parking brake, off, pedal once or twice, and then go. And pedal off, I want to go faster, and that's it. There we go. Thank you, cheers. And then when you're finished, just um, disconnect your power, Put it down there, and if you want to park it, you, you know you could do. You can squeeze it in, push this up, and that operates the parking brake. And do that, flex it off. Cool. Cheers. So part two, just some quick additional um, items you might want to know about. So you connect the battery on, got your lights. So here, this switch here operates the um, front and rear lights, just in case you want them on. You know, if it's night or dark or whatever, you know, obviously. <laughs> and here is the indicator switch. If you want to use indicators for some random reason, you can flick it on. The indicator's there. And obviously back to the middle. It's, just, it's like a three-way switch, basically. Right. So that's that. Um, you've also got underneath here a horn. Um, I don't know if the second C5 has a horn on or not, but the other one definitely has indicators on as well. So yeah, light switch here, um, horn on there. This C5 here with the grey boot. This one here has the upgraded um, disc brake on the front. So this one here is the better C5 um, to use. Because uh, it stops easier. If at, at speed, for example, um, the other C5 is completely standard. So it has a standard front brake on it. So just a very minor bit of information. Otherwise they're the same. I've got two of these batteries, which are the same. So yeah, so handbrake on, off, disconnect, lift it up at the back, flick it off, job done. Thank you, cheers.